Now that we've selected our design for the VEX robot gripper, I'm going to start modeling the parts in Autodesk Inventor. The first thing I'm going to do is look at the gripper assembly. It consists of a number of major parts, and I'm just highlighting those for you now. We'll be going through modeling most of these parts. I'm going to start with the bracket. The bracket can be modeled using a number of workflows. I'm going to show you a workflow using the sheet metal environment. I included a lot of holes and uh, square holes created in this bracket. Here's the one that I created in the sheet metal environment. It consists of three faces, some cuts, and a chamfer. Let me move the end of folded part up and we'll have a look at that. So the face was created by creating a sketch. Some of these dimensions are more important than others. The overall length and width are okay. You can vary those, but the important dimensions are the size of the holes and the center to center distance. Here we see that it's 0.5 from center to center and the squares are 0.182 square. I've also added some circles in those squares and I'll be using those for the assembly process. Everything is driven by the sheet metal defaults. Here we see the thickness is 0.046. Always remember to set those up before you start. The next feature I created was the face. Let me show you how I did that. A couple of workflows available. What I did was actually create a sketch and then use the face tool. So I'm going to create my 2D sketch and I'm going to add a rectangle. And this rectangle is going to be 1.5 inches long and 0.5 inches deep. Having done that, I'm going to go to the face tool. When I select face, and the profile, I want to offset that so it's coming towards me. Click on OK and you can see that it automatically puts the bend in for me based on the selections I made in my defaults. Let me undo that back and we'll get to see the ones that I originally created. So here we see the one I originally created and I repeated that process on the far side. Now we're going to create some cuts. Again, those are the square holes, 0.182 square. And I finished that off by adding some chamfers to the corners. You want to remove all those sharp corners. It's fairly thin material and it could be a little bit dangerous. Added some more cuts to the far side and there you see the completed VEX bracket.